Let's talk about thermometry physics for injectors. If we do preliminary estimative modeling and design a correct measurement procedure, we can give a quantitative assessment of the injected fluid profile. This is the sketch of a typical vertical injection well, drilled from the ground surface through a horizontal rock sequence with different thermophysical properties, such as heat capacity, and thermal conductivity. Based on thermal conductivity log and heat flux from the earth interior, we reconstruct initial temperature in rocks and reservoir, the geothermal profile. The fluid is moving from the surface to the bottom hole and heat exchanges with rocks. And while moving through the reservoir, it exchanges the heat with overlying and underlying rocks. This is a complicated heat exchange scenario. Temperature in the well bore under flowing conditions diverges greatly from the geothermal temperature profile. In response to injection, temperature in rocks and reservoir changes gradually from the initial geothermal temperature profile. Let's talk about the real case to show you how SNL HPT technology works to evaluate the reservoir flow. Thief injection above the perforations. We run the PLT. We can see that all water, 98%, is squeezed through this streak. We run the temperature tool under shut-in conditions. There is a cooling effect across A2 formation, which wasn't expected. We measure flowing temperature and SNL. We find that across the cooling effect in A2, there is a very prominent noise. Towards the flow scenario suggested by the temperature modeling and noise tricks, we are injecting less in A4 formation and more in A2 by channeling flow. Noise power doesn't depend on the rate of the flow. That's why, to evaluate the flow, we should use temperature modeling. 